A common piece of advice given to new computer tinkerers is that the single best upgrade you can give, especially an older PC, is a solid state drive or an SSD. Not only because this removes the hard drive bottleneck, but also because in general, any SSD is going to give you a significant performance boost. Even if you don't agonize for hours over the exact model you're going to buy and just end up spending 10 seconds picking out the highest rated one on Amazon. But many of you also have higher performance requirements than simply faster than a hard drive. So today we're following up on our guide on which SSD to buy, which you can check out here, with an explanation of the different kinds of flash memory that you'll find not only in SSDs, but also in things like removable memory cards and USB thumb drives. So currently, SSD flash memory comes in a few main flavors, SLC, MLC, and TLC, which you will sometimes find in the SSD product description, but unfortunately not always, which sucks because these three things could have a huge impact on the performance of your drive. But how? Well, the letter C, see? Yeah, that way. In these varieties stands for cell, as in the memory cells in your SSDs that store data. So depending on the type, each cell can hold a different number of bits, that is the zeros and ones that make up all digital data. A single level cell or SLC can hold just one bit per cell, while triple level cells or TLCs can store three bits per cell. MLC actually stands for multi-level cell, so technically TLC is a subset, but MLC is commonly used to refer to two bits per cell. So it shouldn't be surprising then that TLC, which can store the most bits per cell, offers higher capacities. In fact, their higher data density also makes them cheaper per gigabyte. But there's a caveat here. Remember that SSDs only last for a certain number of write cycles. And since the electronics in TLCs requires more writes per cell because they store more, they don't last as long as MLCs and SLCs, and they also tend to be significantly slower. For these reasons, you will mostly find TLC flash on lower end SSDs and portable storage devices. Instead, most mainstream and higher-end consumer SSDs these days use MLC flash, which represents a nice compromise between data density, longevity, performance, and price. These drives tend to last anywhere between twice to 10 times as long as TLC SSDs while being quite a bit faster, and while you can't cram as much data on an MLC SSD for the same cost, they still represent a good value proposition, whether you just need a small SSD to use as a boot drive or even something larger for mass storage. SLC drives, due to only storing one bit per cell, are even faster still and can last for 100,000 write cycles. The downside though, as you can possibly guess, is that they are quite expensive, so they're usually only found in enterprise settings where the fastest speeds and high reliability are a must. Of course, there are other important ways that the flash memory in different drives can vary, such as more recently with the availability of 3D NAND, which uses memory cells stacked in a 3D configuration to significantly increase data density. You can learn more about that in this video. So while nearly any SSD will give you better performance than your clunky old mechanical drive, deciding between TLC and MLC, with SLC not being really relevant unless you're, you know, contract buying thousands of drives at once in a data center, can be important if you're really going to be putting your drive through the paces, whether you're a video editor, running a new server, or you just like to run benchmarks all the time because your secret aspiration in life is to be just like me. Speaking of secret aspirations, what if you wanted more and you felt like, gee, if only I could educate myself for just a few dollars a month to take my hobby or even my career to the next level. Well, with lynda.com, you can do that. lynda.com lets you watch and learn from top experts who are passionate about teaching. You can stream thousands of video courses on demand and learn on your own schedule 
at your own pace. And they've got lots of great features these days. You can browse the course transcripts to follow along or search for the answer and skip to that point in the video just by clicking on it. You can download the tutorials and watch them on the go, including access on your iOS or Android device. You can actually create and save playlists so that you can go through your learning path with friends or colleagues and the best part is that you can get a free trial simply by heading over to the link in the video description. And if you decide, hey, I'm learning stuff, this is cool, then all for a flat rate starting at just 25 bucks a month, you can become a member permanently. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. If you want to check out our other channels, boom, up there. If you want to comment with video suggestions, down there. And if you want to subscribe and follow, come on, hit the button. We're close to a million subscribers now. Let's get this show on the road here.